Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not. Either any of these blokes, this is me old mate, the Magical Flying Fox. Magical Flying Fox in the JP E100. Now, contrary to popular belief, this is not named after me. The JP, the Stewie JP. This is the, um, this is the Tier 10 German Tank Destroyer. The one with lots of armour and a very big gun. Who doesn't love a big gun? Is that Marks of Excellence? I'm sure he is. Looks like he's got two Marks of Excellence on this bad boy. The, the German ones do look a little bit funny. He's got the... Is this the gingerbread style from the Christmas... Uh, the Christmas uh, gift boxes, possibly, maybe. Talking about a big gun, have a look at what this bad boy could do. It's a 170 millimeter gun, which I think is the biggest caliber gun at, um, uh, other than other than SPGs. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it is. 170 millimeter gun, 1,050 alpha damage, 420 penetration. That's with heat rounds, which is premium ammunition. On this bad boy, standard rounds at 299. That's so an extra. It's 121. Uh, 121 uh, millimeters of penetration. He's on two missions. Let's see if he can get him. This game is going to be an absolute ripper. We're playing on Abbey. He's gone up the one-two line where the heavy tanks normally go. And uh, we've all had. If anyone's got this tank, you'll know. You can. You can. Sometimes. Not always. Sometimes. You can. Um, you can have a great time with this bad boy playing it. Uh, playing it like a heavy, getting up in the face of the enemy team and and chipping away at him a thousand hit points at a time. Now he's on two missions, which we mentioned. Uh, we'll wait till he puts his first shot. He's looking towards the E100. Now this is an all tier 10 game, which will be good for these missions because he needs to do a lot of hit points of damage. And uh, there's no artillery either. And, uh, of course, this is the kind of tank that artillery would generally um, like shooting at. Not because they're lightly armoured, but because they're big and slow and, and, and possibly easy targets. No arty in this game though. Magical Flying Fox from B4B O Clan. B4B I don't know. I'm not sure what it's he's looking, looking towards, is he going to? Bounces the 62 and the other uh, T-57 Heavy very, very kindly pokes and um, allows the Magical Flying Fox to, to get him for 1,063 1, hit points in one shot. And that's part of his first mission. His first mission for the Chimera, block number three, is to do 3,000 hit points of damage within his view range, which is 445 meters, or it may exceed 445 meters. But, um, being up close and personal in this thing, um, it's, this is this is the kind of thing. Three shots of damage will get that mission, and uh, that's his first mission in this game. They're down by a tank, down by two tanks though. What, zero two is a score. Looking at the commander stats, not quite happy with the um, the the amount of angle he's got on the cupola, but he's thinking, oh, we may as well. Unfortunately, he didn't get hit, let alone pen. Zero two is a score. Thousand sixty three hit points of damage to the magical flying fox. Now. If, if memory serves me correctly, he's on Twitch. He's live on Twitch, showing showing you how to do it properly in the in the JPE 100. Not named after me, not be the popular boy, but, uh, but never mind. He's getting ready for his second shot. Though it takes a while to reload this bad boy, but um, that's all right. It's worth the wait for a thousand, for a thousand and sixty. Is it a thousand and sixty? A thousand and fifty um, potential damage. Unfortunately, he doesn't, doesn't penetrate the E100. Blocks a shot from the Object 705A. His team's down to 0-3. I mentioned two missions. First mission is to do 3,000 hit points of damage at point-blank range. So it's got to be within his view range. Uh, the other one is uh, the final mission for the Object 260 for tank destroyers, and that's to do 8,000 hit points of damage. Six kills um, and a win for completion with honours. We love completing with honours, especially mission number 15, because you get those, you get those orders which you can use. Now, oh, look out. Is this going to... Like he does, gets him for 1,093 hit points. That brings his, so he's nearly got this mission. He's nearly got this mission for block number three. One more shot of damage and he'll do it. 2,156 hit points of damage out of his 3,000 for this mission. Two missions in one game. That's what we like to see at Get On Board Studios. Absolutely. Three fours of score. Three five now as the death, the, the, the death barn. The, the fb 4 5 the ship barn, gets killed. Shoots and penetrates. The Object 705A for a bit of a high roll, 1101 hit points of damage, and that's that mission already done. Four more kills to get it with honours. But who cares about the honours for number three? We want the honours for number uh, 15 to get those dank um, orders. Orders for the uh, for the Object 2C. He's probably already got the Object 2C. Who really knows? Three, that, there he goes, another shot for another 1038 hit points of damage into the 60 TP, 4295 hit points of damage done so far. He's blocked 2700, which is more than the hit points of this tank. This tank's got 2200 hit points, and uh, Magical Flying Fox uh, has, has um, he's blocked a bit more, 3350. That's more than a thousand more hit points, more than um, that he brought into this game. 4295 damage is. Um, just over halfway to this mission, which is to do 8,000 all up. 
doesn't matter if you're up close for this part of the mission or at the back. He'll be up close for the rest of this game, I reckon. Anyway, I haven't watched this yet. This is the first part watching this replay. Three fives are scored. Maybe we'll find Fox. He's been playing for a while. He knows what he's doing in this game. He's no dummy, that's for sure. And now he's rolling around here. Thinking, oh, yeah, really related. Get ready. Get ready for another big one. This will be a big one. The gingerbread. The gingerbread JPE100. That's, um, don't call it a Jagaroo or a Yagaroo, whatever the, it's a JP, don't worry about that. I, I think even he knew that shot wasn't going to go through. See you here thinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. It scores 3-6. He'll be mindful of the mission, but he'll also be mindful of how he's going to carry this game. 3-7 now, as the M60 goes down. And, uh, what's left? What's left on the enemy team? A few tank destroyers. There's a JPE 100 on the enemy team, as well as an FD4005, another one with the, those great Hesh rounds. A Death Star, FE215B183, tank destroyers everywhere. T110E3, along with the magical flying fox uh, on on this side, up on the upstairs bit. Bit of a low roll there on the Object 705, but you'll take it. 963 damage. You'll take that all day long, Har willing the gun to reload. And now he's thinking, right here, if we can reload, as long as that EBR doesn't stuff us up from behind, if we can reload, there's a few one shots here. The 60 TP is a one shot, and 670. Six health, the uh, the Death Star on 400, and uh, if he can pick up a couple of one shots, he might he might uh, have a chance of getting uh, getting some uh, secondary conditions for these missions as well. Six eight the score now, 5,940 hit points of damage. He's only 2,000 away, 2,060 hit points away from getting this mission. He's only got two hit rounds left though. He wants to get around that object 705. But he just want to get tracked out in the open. There are three tanks here. 430U, which should be an easy pen. There you go. Not only an easy pen, but another 876 damage and another kill. Remember the remember that the mission is to get six kills, and you, you might have to if you're going to carry this game. The, the Death Star goes down to the 705A, and uh, Flying Fox now towards the IS-7. If he can get a shot, if he can pen one shot into the IS-7, he's got his primary condition for uh, for this mission. Oh, no, not quite. Nearly. <laughs> Gets him for 11.65, a high roll, but not quite enough to get the condition. He needs another 19 hit points. He's looking now towards these, the last remaining enemy tanks on the western flank. The STB-1, EBR, T-110E4 and a Leopard. And he's uh, down to standard rounds, which will be fine. Most of them are pretty lightly armoured. The mouse was last seen over here on the east. I'm not sure what that mouse was doing. If he's, if he's owning this east like a boss, in which case you'll probably get onto the cap sooner or later. Magical flying frock. Frocks? <laughs> you're flying fox from um is it babo bebo b4 b i don't know anyway he's rolling back back down here he's got the ap rounds loaded ap should be fine for most of these tanks especially the leopard and the steep stb one um t124 if he gets behind him maybe because he's not known for a, he's been a flanking tank though is it really the jp a little bit like me there's the t124 there's the leopard we're licking his lips now, so here's the will be will do. Thank you. There's another 1,096 damage, and that's mission complete for mission number 15. TD-15 for the Triumph, the primary condition for the Object 260. He'll need four more kills if he's going to get it for honours, and he's got no chance of getting that. The STB-1 crashed, and um, where's the mouse? Is the mouse in this game? Loses his Amorak, fixes it with a quick tap of the bike. He shoots and kills a T-124 for his third kill. And uh, there's the mouse. The mouse is up there on two and a half thousand. So that mouse was certainly owning the eastern flank of um, the eastern flank of uh, of Abbey. They're pinging. They're pinging the. Um, they're, they're pinging the northern cap. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're thinking, oh, the EBR is going to be too hard to catch because it's an EBR, and, uh, and capping might be the goods. Because all the tanks left on Magical Flying Fox's team are slow. Uh, the E100, the IS, IS7 isn't too slow for a heavy. It's never going to, um, it's never going to catch an EBR, not any day of the week. But the EBR was last spotted here. We might be able to get it. Magical Flying Fox thinking, well, I might as well, might as well get a kill, more, some more damage at least, on the mouse. Don't forget, the other condition for the block number three is to get one more kill. Down to 559 hit points, though. He's done one for the team and taken a few shots. Uh, to, they haven't won this yet. There's his kill. So that's the primary, con the secondary condition for block number three. Unfortunately, I might be able to get the secondary condition for the TD-15. But, uh, but that's all right. He's certainly, um, he's certainly done his job in this game. Look at that damage. 11,245 hit points of damage. That's right. 11,245 hit points of damage. 4,420 damage blocked by armor. 
The ping in the Northern Cap, he's just been spotted. So the EBR's got to be around here somewhere. He's got one AP round left. And you know what EBRs are like. Maybe, maybe the EBR will bounce it. How did he get spotted? Sur surely the EBR is over there somewhere. It's got to be around here somewhere where they're pinging. And uh, T57 Heavy rightly observes. You can't catch him. He's an EBR. But um, we'll quicken the replay up just a little bit. Just to see where the EBR... I mean, guess... Your guess is as good as mine. The EBR's probably going to run away, wouldn't he? I mean, he wouldn't. Would he try to carry it? Or would he just YOLO into it? Who knows? This is the gingerbread JPE100. Magical Flying Fox. Check him out on Twitch. His link will be down there. And um, he, oh, yeah, look, he's going up there. Nah, Fl Foxy's going up there now. Looking for the EBR. Last spotted just down there. And uh, he gets up here. Flying around. Doing a bit of four-wheel driving in the, in the JPE100. Gets shot gets shot by the EBR over there to his left and now he's just going to play around until his team either find him or um, or sit on the cat and of course the, tell you what looking at these tanks there's four tanks remaining Foxy on 121 hit points one shot for the EBR E100 on 62 hit points one shot for the EBR T1023 on 198 one shot for the EBR Object 705A on 292 so the EBR is probably not um giving up. 705 and E100 going to cap, which is the right thing to do. Magical Flying Fox looking to flush out the EBR to um, minimise the chance of him resetting. Him or her resetting. And uh, I think capping now is the only option. So Fox is up here, making sure the EBR can't find those heavy tanks. They ping the map a little bit. Hopefully they both stay on the cap. You know what it's like sometimes at random. 13 seconds, 10 seconds left on the cap. The EBR is nowhere to be seen. Probably hiding down there in the south. But wow, what a game, what a win, and what a mission from your old mate, the magical flying fox from B4BO clan, or whatever it's called. Um, not bad at all, mate. Not bad at all. Two missions in one game, which we love to see. Uh, but the mission number 15 for the TD Triumph for the Object 260, and also block number three for the, um, for the other one. I can't remember. Anyway. Have a look at that. Ace Tanker Mastery Badge. Mastery Badge. Not too bad at all. Bruiser Medal. Hand of God. Duelist. Fighter. Fire for Effect. Shell Proof. 28 bonds. Possibly for the um, for the uh, premium um, you know, the premium daily missions where you get 25 bonds or something like that. Also got a Brothers in Arms. That was that, that dynamic platoon <coughs> which he created towards the end of the battle. Three kills each and survive. Uh, still war for all that block damage. We'll see how much block damage that was in just a minute in high caliber. For doing a shitload more than anybody else in that game. 11,245 hit points of damage. Four kills, 1,486 base experience. He fired 16 shots, 14 hit and 12 pen. Nothing wrong with that. 4,420 damage blocked by armor. Bit of assisted damage as well. Shout out to Marvis from Bape Clan in the 7050. That gave him the uh, the Brothers in Arms medal. This one, which looks pretty cool. And um, well, the other passengers, well done. You got carried. Not too bad at all. Uh, did he make credits? No, he didn't make credits. So those bonds weren't for the premium because it may be for those other daily missions. Who knows? Uh, it made a bit of, made coin, 2,500 coin. Even with a standard account, there was a battle payment of 25,000 though. So if that wasn't there, it would have cost him a little bit. But well worth it for two missions in one game. Um, two missions in one game on the way to the Chibera, I think it was, and the Object 260. Flying Fox, magical Flying Fox, you legend. Uh, it was great to meet you in Sydney too, mate. The, um, thanks for the replay. Thanks for watching, everyone. We are back. Um, Take care and see you all next time. Close that. Wrong button.